In this video, we are going to focus on one aspect of globalization called time-space compression. The material is resourced largely from David Harvey's book titled Time and Space of the Enlightenment Project. First, what does time-space compression refer to? David Harvey writes that this term refers to processes that so revolutionize the objective qualities of space and time that we are forced to alter, sometimes in quite radical ways, how we represent the world to ourselves. David Harvey explains that compression also refers to the idea that the history of capitalism has been characterized by a speeding up in the pace of life while so overcoming spatial barriers that the world sometimes seems to collapse inwards upon us. The time taken to traverse space and the way we commonly represent that fact to ourselves are useful indicators of this kind of phenomena. As a result of these kinds of processes brought on by globalizing technologies and the capitalist economic system, David Harvey writes that space appears to shrink to a global village. And further, he writes that time horizons shorten to the point where the present is all there is, the world of the schizophrenic. So we have to learn how to cope with an overwhelming sense of compression of our spatial and temporal worlds. This is because, as Harvey goes on to write, the experience of time-space compression is challenging, exciting, stressful, and sometimes deeply troubling, capable of sparking, therefore, a diversity of social, cultural, and political responses. However, the term global village has been with us well before the internet and other contemporary communications technologies, which suggests that the contracting of the globe has been a developing process. The term global village is most associated with theorist Marshall McLuhan, who popularized the phrase in his influential books, The Gutenberg Galaxy and Understanding Media. And he used it to describe what he predicted would be a shift away from print media to the domination of visual electronic media. For this reason, some people suggest that McLuhan predicted the internet. Regardless, many theories redeploy and update McLuhan's groundbreaking work in order to theorize and understand Western culture as it exists in the internet age. Thank you for watching.